Hey everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Uh, we just want to talk a little bit. We're just going to talk a little bit about Fire Emblem Heroes and its game modes because this post got me thinking. Uh, this is a post on the Fire Emblem Heroes Reddit and it is titled People saying VG uh, voting gauntlet should be removed just because their favorite character lost thanks to the stupid multiplier are cringeworthy. Um, I don't entirely agree with this dude's statement. Uh, but let, let's talk a little bit about this, um, and let's, more importantly, read some of these comments and uh, figure out where I'm going with this video. So the first thing, let's read by Zeta3A, is I just see it as free coins, orbs, and feathers. I could care less, could you now, um, how it turns out. Uh, and there's other people saying, I'm just here for the feathers and the memes. Um, let's go down, go down, and this is the one that kind of sparked it for me. Uh, Jade, some dude says, it's a crap game mode that isn't fun. The mode only exists for the rewards and nothing else. If it wasn't for the orbs and coins, I wouldn't even bother. And um, this just kind of explains Fire Emblem Heroes to me right now. And um, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying I'm not enjoying myself. I'm just saying I don't know why I'm enjoying myself uh, in terms of the actual game modes. And uh, this statement can literally be used for almost every other thing that has came out in this game. It's the same thing posted every single time on Reddit, um, in the Discord, in every person I ever talk with, in every video I make about uh, Tempest Trials, about anything. There's always people who say, I can't stand this game mode. And it's kind of funny because the next one down uh, by Shiruta says... Somehow when I read this, I thought of Tempest Trials. It's literally how I feel, playing twice a day and autoing the rest just to deplete my stamina. And um, it got me thinking like what I enjoy about Fire Emblem Heroes. So I just kind of want to take a look at the game modes right now and maybe um, think a little bit about how uh, we can improve the longevity of the game and maybe um, our enjoyment of the actual game itself. Like I love the characters. I love um, skill inheritance stuff. I love talking with you guys. I love... Um, brainstorming builds, I love doing summons, I love supporting units, I love building teams, but I don't like playing the game. Um, I, it's not that I don't like playing the game, I'm not excited to play it, I, I just do it for the rewards, for the stamina, um, to use the stamina, to level up, uh, that sort of thing. Nothing I really enjoy doing, and that I think is something that really uh, should change or needs to change. Uh, so let's take a look First one here is Tempest Trials. I think everybody was a pretty decent fan of this right at the start, and then they realized they needed 100,000 points um, to kind of go through. And then we found out we can auto it, so now all everybody does is auto it. Um, I do really enjoy Tempest Trials in a sense that I love when it's here because my stamina is gone for good. Um, I get a ton of rewards and I don't have to worry about where my stamina is going, I just hit auto and that's that. I also do really like uh, with Tempest Trials that I can use uh, the bonus heroes, I can use units I wouldn't usually use, I can um, gain a bunch of merit points, I can gain a bunch of SP, um, but I don't actually enjoy um, the act of doing Tempest Trials. There's also these things here which are um, amazing, Bound Hero maps, uh, or Bound Hero battles, Grand Hero battles, all these sorts of things I really really enjoy, all the um, Warriors maps before this, the developers maps, these stuff are the stuff that is super super fun and outside of um, stuff like the Warrior map, you only do it once. And that's a big problem, they're not repeatable. So this is done in like half an hour or so on average, uh, maybe longer if you have trouble, maybe shorter if you uh, do really well, and it's a lot of fun. But it's only once, um, especially these ones down there, the special maps, they're, they're literally once in a count and it's over in seconds. So we have story modes here, and we have the main story in Paralogues, which again is a lot of fun, but it's a one-time thing. You're not going to do it after you do it once, outside of quests you get for it. Um, there are chain challenges, there are uh, squad assaults, and both of these I'm embarrassed to show you that I haven't done them because they're some of the things I do enjoy the most about the game. So it doesn't make sense to me why I haven't done them. Um, that's another story, but... Uh, yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me why I haven't finished all these. Obviously, um, I've been saving a lot of the lunatics for the orbs, uh, but the other ones I have really no excuse. Um, I do really, really, really love these modes, but outside of um, repeating chain challenges for SP and leaving at the end, there's really no reason to do these more than once again. We'll look at... let's do that one last. Uh, training Tower is kind of the, the stamina dump. Like, where you go when you have nothing left to do and you just kind of need something to do. Uh, I can't really say these are super fun, but they're kind of a necessity. Um, something like this you need to level up, so so that's that. 
we have the voting gauntlet now, which um, is used to be a lot of fun. It used to be one of my most favorite things to do. I used to make sure that I never lost. I, I used to try my best. I used to enjoy it. But now that it's not um, vote for who you like, basically, it's vote for how to get the most rewards. I, I literally don't care anymore. So I auto everything. If I lose, I lose. It doesn't matter. It might even help my team if I lose. So it, it's just... I don't want to get into this because obviously the subreddit is is filled with this now, but that used to be a fun mode, uh, not so much anymore for me. Uh, now it's just rewards, I only do it for rewards, that's it. I don't even care um, if I pick my waifu anymore because it, it doesn't really matter. And finally we have Arena, and these are ones that have grown on me. I used to um, not really enjoy them much, but now I am um, probably my favorite game mode now that I have a ton of units. Uh, I am really enjoying it now, especially uh, with these bonus hero changes. Not changes, but with the bonus heroes. Um, now that I kind of have a lot of the bonus heroes ready, it's really fun to be able to use them. And I think that's an awesome, awesome uh, thing to have going for Arena in this game. The one thing I don't like is um, that I've mentioned so many times before, that you can't really use teams that aren't highly skill inherited, even if they're better than your skill inherited teams, just because you don't get any points for it. Um, so yeah, uh, this is another really, really good mode that I do really like, but it's not enough. There's also Arena Assault, which is kind of the same deal. I used to hate Arena Assault. It was my most hated thing in the game. I couldn't believe they added it. I was furious with them. And actually about two weeks ago, I did a test where I did 50 uh, first battles of Arena Assault at around the 696 to 706 range, and 48 of them had at least two horses. Literally 48 of my 50 battles had two horses. Um, most had three horses and a dancer, but sometimes there are four horses, sometimes there are two. Uh, but the vast majority had three horses and a dancer. And then the other two were armor emblem teams. So that just wasn't fun to me. Um, but since they're adding new units and everything um, is getting a little more varied, I'm really enjoying it more. Um, stuff like Sakura is making Arena Assault a lot of fun for me, and now I'm actually participating in it. Like, I've already got my run done for a week, and it was a lot of fun. So that is all the current real game modes we have in the game, and um, the, the reason why I'm doing this video is I kind of want you to think to yourself, like, what, what are you enjoying? Do you actually enjoy doing Tempest Trials, or are you just autoing it for the rewards? Um, do you enjoy doing the Training Stratum? Do you enjoy the, the Voting Gauntlet? Or are you just like me, where you kind of enjoy um, making characters, uh, talking with people, um, theory crafting, uh, collection, like Pokemon style, which is a big thing for me. Um, it's just mi really making me think. Like this this Reddit post, of all the things to, to make you think at however time in the morning this is, um, a Reddit post like really made me question Fire Emblem Heroes. So that is good to me. Um, it's good to question stuff like that. And I want to kind of think of solutions, and as you all know, I've been playing a ton of other gacha games, and I have been playing them for years and years and years. And the one thing I am I personally think is missing in Fire Emblem Heroes is uh, some sort of continual drop you can get. Um, in Summoner's War you have runes, which are um, basically like equipment. Imagine having a piece of armor um, drop, and sometimes it has one stat, sometimes it has another, sometimes it has two stats. Uh, basically something that you can always, always aim to try to get and always, always want to be farming. There is literally nothing like that in this game. Like, nothing at all. You, you can farm merit points for feathers and that's it. Uh, there's nothing continual that always keeps you wanting to play, always wants the game open, and always want to be farming. Like, Summoner's War, when I was playing it in my peak, I had it open all day, every day, spamming the same dungeon over and over and over again. And that does not sound fun when you say it like that. But when you always have a chance for that rare drop, you always have that chance for that insane rune, you always have something to keep your blood flowing, something to, to keep excited about. Um, that's what made it fun. And I really feel like that's what lack, what's lacking in this game. So yeah, that's about all I wanted to talk about here. Um, I really, really, really think they need to add some form of something that can be added to the game to farm. I have no idea what. I don't know what can be balanced. I don't know what... But something needs to be farmable, in my opinion, and um, it needs to, to, to be a way to make the game more fun for people to play. Uh, because if you think about it, um, I'm sure a lot of you will agree that there's not really much you super enjoy gameplay-wise. 
So yeah, um, let me know what you think in the, the description below. Maybe I'm completely off base here. Maybe everybody loves the training stratum. They love going in every every day and beating that 10th training stratum. Maybe they love doing um, Tempest Trials manual for six hours a day or something like that. You know, um, maybe I'm wrong. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all those sort of things. They really help me out. You can see my Twitch on the left there. Also, uh, Twitter and Discord in the link below. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. This is all a, a little ramble video, and I just wanted to chat with you guys. Thanks.